Hey guys, how's it going? Azra Collections here, and today we've got another Mezco Toys figure. We've got the Mezco 112 Collective Deathstroke. Let's kick things off with having a closer look at Deathstroke. So if you look at his face sculpt here, there's a lot of detailed lining, there's a lot of scratches and blemishes. On especially on the orange part, which is more visible, on the white part or, or on the blue part, there's a little bit of a blue streak going on as well. Which is pretty cool. His mask is pretty detailed. His head sculpt in itself is pretty detailed. He's got the one good eye, which you can see through, which is red. Painted really well. The helmet is really well detailed. Like, it's really good. Uh, the chest piece looks awesome. It's uh, kind of a plastic material. It's not too stiff. I could still get some kind of um, like motion out of it. Uh, you can push it in a little bit. But it's still very detailed. Look at that. Like Just the straps on the shoulder that's holding it together. Pretty cool. Uh, it's got a strap around the neck as well, which is also very well done. So yeah, he's got some uh, ab plates as well to help him with, I guess, fending off whatever is coming to him. Uh, there's a black undersuit, which is done pretty well. It's just plain black undersuit, which is pretty cool. Um, he's got the shoulder kind of pads here. So the one on over here is pretty much simple. It's just got a little bit of scuffs here and there. But the other side looks more, I don't know what that is, it looks like a bomb. It looks like a few bombs attached to it. Looks pretty cool. His gauntlets look alright. His gloves look very tactical. Lots of details there. You can still you can also see the little nubs there as well. Uh, it's got great like orange and blue deco going on. Pretty cool. His tactical belt looks pretty awesome. Looks like it can store all sorts of things. Yeah. Uh, the straps, they're strapped onto the chest piece uh, or the chest harness, which is pretty cool. Uh, he's got a two-tone in his pants, so the blue is a little bit lighter on the inside. And then there's like a midnight kind of blue going on on the outside. He's got a gun holster strapped to his leg. It's pretty cool. And the boots look really detailed. Look at that. So there's a lot of buttoning or metal kind of action going on here. There's a lot of scuffs, so he's put them through kind of hell, I guess. But he's a mercenary, so yeah, he'd probably take it through hell. There's a lot of details. Even the yeah, even the bottom of the shoes are really detailed. So that's pretty awesome. All right. So articulation-wise, uh, that stroke can. I'll just zoom in a little bit. That stroke can look up not that much because of the neck kind of piece, and you can look forward that much because of the neck piece again. He can turn side to side, but you gotta be wary about just the neck piece there. Uh, his shoulders can go up all the way, uh, but the shoulder piece kind of hard hinders it a little bit. The other shoulder can go up that high. Yeah, I think without the shoulder pieces, you could probably go higher, but that's what you can get with them on. So elbows are double jointed, but it's a little bit hindered here. Uh, there's a swivel on, at the bicep. Yes, there is. And there's a swivel at, at the gauntlet as well. Uh, his hands can go all the way around and up and down, which is pretty cool. Uh, not much torso because of uh, the armor piece. Yeah, he could probably get a little bit of a twist on the uh, kind of torso and legs separation here as well. But then because of the gun holsters and all of that, it's a little bit more hindered. So he can though kick up that much, which is all right. He can kick back not that much because of the sculpted butt. He can kick out pretty well, to be honest. So that's, that's pretty decent. And he's got double hinged out knees, which is pretty awesome. Uh, there's probably a boot swivel, but it's, yeah, there, there you go. It's, it's still hindered because of the pointy pieces on both ends. The legs can, or the feet can do not that much, which is pretty sad. And there's a little bit of tilt. I think there should be a little bit of tilt. There you go. There's a little bit of tilt to this one. The other one's a bit more stuck. Oh, and I think that has articulation as well. So yeah, that can go up and down a little bit, which is pretty cool. And yeah, it can go side to side a little bit as well. So there's a little bit of swivel. Yeah, so not very articulated, especially because of the the different joints and the armor pieces. But uh, he can definitely get into cool poses, I think. Uh, but definitely very hindered, especially in the torso area. So in terms of accessories for Deathstroke, you get a pretty cool uh, kind of rifle gun, which is 
yeah pretty detailed it's got a little bit of orange streak going on in there as well i'll just try to focus on that there you go yeah it's pretty cool there's a little bit of orange deco going on which is done pretty well oh that clip does come out that's pretty cool uh i don't know if there are any mechanical parts that that can move around but yeah that seems to be it so that can come out that's about it um that doesn't switch nothing there yet so it's just basically a really cool gun it looks like it's seen a little bit of damage but that's pretty cool now he also comes with a chest harness kind of thing where he can put his sword in so that's i don't know what that's called but yeah the sheath yeah there you go the sheath and there's a little bit of pouch going on as well so you could possibly put it on his body where it's just hugging around the body uh on the armor and then on the back there you get the sword you can put the sword in so let's look at the sword so that's what the sword looks like it's pretty detailed uh it's got the orange deco again which is pretty cool yeah so the orange makes it look really nice it just pops the orange on the sword and that looks awesome and let's try to put it into the sheath so if you look at that here that's how you align it there you go and you put this sword in sorry i'm just doing it on camera so it's a little bit flimsy but yeah it fits perfectly to be honest and doesn't come out which is pretty awesome so yeah, cool. And you also get a handgun, which is very detailed, but not much paint on it. The hand grip looks pretty awesome. Yeah, and that comes with an ammo clip, which is pretty cool. So you can jam the ammo clip in there. Well, I'm doing it on camera, so it's a little bit more difficult, but yeah, you can basically jam the ammo clip in there. I think I got it the wrong way around. There you go, there you go. So you can jam the ammo clip in there, and that's what it looks like, so it's pretty cool. And there's just a little bit of silver paint on it, not that much. So for additional hands, Deathstroke comes with two fist hands on the body. And other than that, he comes with two gripping kind of hands. Uh, so this is the one for the right hand. I'll just zoom into that. This is for holding a sword. Or at least it looks like it's for holding a sword. And the other one as well. Very similar. Looks like they're for holding swords. Which is pretty cool. And we also have a trigger finger hand for the right hand looks very detailed yeah you've got the nubs on all of them and the paint details look pretty cool on all of them as well and you also have the scratches and blemishes going on possibly due to fighting and just time of use for his gear and you've got like i don't know what that's probably like a gun holding hand when you're holding the gun like that yeah so you've got that hand as well which is pretty cool and yeah, all of them got good paint on it, and just the orange deco is pretty cool. So Deathstroke also does come with this Slade Wilson head, which is pretty cool. So let's have a closer look at that. He's got the eye patch going on around his head, which is, yeah, which is cool. Yeah, that's why he has only one eye slit in his mask. He also has the goatee, which is white, and the hair, which is white. Pretty cool. His eyebrows are white as well, and the eyes are very detailed. There's a little bit of color wash going on as well for the skin. It's pretty cool he does look old and grumpy so that's that's pretty cool i guess and the nose does have a little bit of extra paint just you know with the with the face crevices holding more paint detail and i think it's done pretty well so yeah that's the alternate head for deathstroke so like with all other mezco action figures deathstroke does come with a base a stand and a bag to put all his accessories in so height comparison wise here we have Deathstroke next to his DC DC Direct counterpart which is the Deathstroke from the Arrow series and that Deathstroke is a 7 inch figure so it is a little bit taller. Mesco is usually 6, 6.5 inches and uh, on the right there we've got the DC Essentials Red Hood and Red Hood is also a 7 inch figure and thus it is he is taller. So next up we've got a few DC figures from a bunch of different lines so on the extreme left here we've got Captain Marvel from the DC Multiverse Mattel line. After that, we've got the SH Figure Arts Flash from Justice League. Right next to him, right next to Deathstroke, we've got the Tactical Suit Batman from Mezco. And at the end there, we've got the Mafex Cyborg from Justice League. So next up, we've got a couple of Marvel Legends figures. On the left there, we've got the Mark 85 Iron Man. And on the right there, we've got the Killmonger from Black Panther. So next, we've got a couple of different brands. We've got the uh, McFarlane DC Multiverse uh, Batman Who Laughs figure on the left. And we've got the WWE Elite Series The Rock on the right. So next up, we've got the Deathstroke to Batman comparison. And this is the Batman that he's most likely going to go up against. This is the Mezco Sovereign Knight Batman on the right. And 
as Deathstroke on the left, and I think they look absolutely awesome together. So in conclusion, I think this Deathstroke is definitely worth your time and your money. There's a lot of details going on. The design is something that I really love on this figure. The orange and the blue really pops. It's got shelf presence. It's got good paint apps. It's got good accessories. It's got that look. You know, you got you get that vibe. You get that battle ready kind of action figure sitting on your shelf, which is pretty awesome. The only thing that I definitely think is lacking is articulation. The torso kind of armor just doesn't give it any range of motion. The shoulder pads hinder any of uh, its arm, his arm movements. You probably won't even be able to bring his arms together to hold the sword with two hands, which is kind of a bummer, but yeah. I think there's a lot of things going on for this figure, and if you're not like a massive kind of articulation buff or a poser, you should be all right with just having him stand on the shelf and looking pretty menacing. But then yeah, I think, for people who want that articulation, this is not the figure for you. There's just a lot of limitations. Yamaguchi has a really good um, that stroke with a lot of articulation, so that might be the figure for you. But all in all, I think that because I'm getting a lot into men's cold nowadays, I just really love this figure, and yeah, I'm really happy that I can own him now. So, If you found this video informative or helpful in any way, please like leave a like below, which definitely helps our channel. Uh, please leave a comment if you have any comments or if you have any questions that I can help you with. Um, and please subscribe for more content. Thank you so much for watching.